party. Look what I have. Maraid came to visit me yesterday and she brought me some broad beans. And some of you were growing these in school and maybe some of you have broad beans growing at home. So when we're preparing broad beans, first we're going to open them up and see what's inside. And if you saw Maraid's video last week, you'll have seen Maraid eating some of the broad beans because you can eat them straight out of the shell or you can cook them. So today I'm going to cook them. So I'm opening them up and I'm putting the shells in the compost. And they feel so lovely and furry on the inside of the shell and the broad beans are lovely and smooth. So you can eat them nice and fresh like this or cook them. So some have maybe just one or two inside. This one had three. And when I have them all open, I'm going to put them in the saucepan with hot water, boiling water. And they cook very quickly. They only need about two minutes to cook. So here are all our broad beans. And I have the saucepan over here with boiling water in it. I'm going to drop them into the saucepan and they'll be cooked in two minutes. So at the cooker, I'm going to be careful. The saucepan is on the back of the cooker not on the front, so it's safer there in case we tipped off the handle. So today I have some pasta that I cooked already. Okay, we go through those signs. So we have spaghetti or pasta. I have some pesto and we go through a sign for that. It's like a green sauce. So I have some pesto and I have some cheese and I have Parmesan cheese and I'm going to make a little dish with pasta, pesto and Parmesan cheese and we put the broad beans on top and that's what we're doing today. So if you want to get a picture here, so we cook the pasta first for, we cook the broad beans first for two minutes. Earlier on I cooked the pasta and when the broad beans are ready, I'm going to put them in icy cold water just for a minute, and then I'm going to pop them out of their shells. And then we'll mix the pasta, the broad beans, and the parmesan and the pesto all together, and we'll taste that. Now, so our broad beans have been cooking for about a minute or two. We can turn off the cooker and we're going to strain these and now I'm going to put them into the icy cold water. This is nice and cold. If the broad beans have a thick skin, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop them out, squeeze them and pop them out. Look at that. You see that? I'm going to do it again. Okay, squeeze it and pop it out. And if they're very small, you don't need to pop them out. So some people prefer them popped out because the skin on the outside can be a little bit tough. Now, I think the rest of these are probably okay. So I'm gonna drain them off. 
and a little bit of kitchen paper here. Maybe this one I'll pop as well. Okay, so we can see how to do those. And as I say, the smaller ones will be fine. Now, next, I have some pasta cooked in here. steam coming from that, it's nice and hot. I have a little jar of pesto, or you could make your own pesto. I do that sometimes, but I do like the little jars. They're very handy to have. So I'm stirring in a little bit of pesto. It smells really good. There's red pesto as well you can buy. This is green one I have today. So there's the pesto. And now, I'm going to put some broad beans on top. And next, a little bit of grated parmesan. This smells so good. Now, so there we have broad beans with pasta and pesto and parmesan cheese. But you could just eat the broad beans on their own. They don't need anything. Or you could put them in a salad and you can have them hot or you can have them cold. Now, I'm going to have a little taste here. I'll start with the broad bean and I can eat the spaghetti later. Okay. Mmm. They're so good. Mm. Really lovely and fresh. Now, a little tiny taste of the pasta. Let's see what this is like. Oh, mm. yummy. So that's how to cook the broad beans. About a minute or two in boiling water. And if you want to pop the outsides off, if you want to pop off that outside layer, just drop them into icy cold water for another minute and then squeeze them out. But if they're very small, you don't need to do that. Okay, so that's it for today. How to cook your broad beans. Thank you. Bye bye.